And here's what we're watching this morning. We're actually watching two areas in the tropics now. Notice there's a new one that is going to be west or excuse me, east of the Bahamas moving towards Bermuda. That one's probably not going to do much. The one that is likely to become more than likely a depression in the next couple of days is the one sitting down near the Yucatan. Now this was originally kind of part of the remnants of Agatha, but there's a lot more now to this than the remnants of Agatha. Notice we've got a big burst of storms off the coast of the Yucatan Peninsula here towards Cozumel and Cancun. And remember, you need storms firing to get a tropical system to develop. So we'll be watching this burst of convection. Here's what we call it or storms. And this is eventually going to move north and east towards South Florida by tomorrow or by Friday rather and into Saturday. And that's when it has a pretty high chance of becoming a depression, maybe becoming our first tropical or subtropical storm of the season. If it does get a name, it would be Alex, but you can see there anywhere in here is where uh, it could try to organize over the next several days as it drifts north and east. Of course, staying well south of the north coast, uh, north north Gulf coast. This is not going to impact us in any way here in Louisiana, other than actually lower our rain chances to make us a little hotter. I'll talk about that in a second, but there you can see there are 70% chance we see this turn into a depression or a storm. Is it going to become anything beyond that? Not likely. Here's the reason why the Gulf is very hostile right now. We've got an upper level trough. That's what's going to eventually pull whatever tries to develop down here to the northeast towards South Florida. Notice all the dry air in the Gulf of Mexico. There's also wind shear. That wind shear will blow that dry air into the circulation and likely keep the west side and the north side of the system very dry. It'll be the south side. So really from south central to south South Florida will have the best chance of some heavy rain starting Friday and going into Saturday, and then it lifts up to the north and moves along the east coast, but out to sea. Of course, this is traditionally pretty quiet. This part of hurricane season on June 1st, the peak is usually within the first week or two of September. So we got a long ways to go here and we've been through it many, many times and we'll make it through this season. But yes, uh, it's always best to be prepared. As